hello guys thanks for watching my video so after today's video you can learn how can you import data files easily to R so I'm showing here basically two kind of data file that is CSV format and text format so first of all I'm showing you my data that it is stored in Excel file here is the data and another is stored in text format the same data so what I am doing that what I have as Excel file I have to convert it in CSV format and you can do this operation with most of the file format you have you can do it for SPSS output or stat output simply click onto the file after opening the data then select to save as then select the location where you want to keep it I am keeping it on the desktop selecting desktop then change the name name I'm doing it names the data CSV for better understanding and from the C save as file you have to select that CSV comma delimited and after when you press on save it will be modified to a CSV file that is, here is a warning here we have to put yes here now we have a CSV file you can here read that data CSV is converted so here is my file CSV file already opened it it looks almost same as the Excel file so I can easily read this file without any trouble so I can what I am doing to do that open R now I am first of all showing you the change directory method that for change directory method you have to press on the console then click file go to change directory don't forget it change did here uh, uh, a directory is missing so you have to press a change directory and select where you have kept your data as I have kept in desktop so I'm selecting desktop wherever you kept your file you can select there so now I am running the command that I'm storing the data in D R E A D read dot CSV the name of my CSV file is C and data CSV so I am under quotation I am putting data dot CSV CSV quotation so if I press enter then you can see that that data is read clearly there is no error message so to see our data that is stored in variable D you can simply press D and enter so you can see the data is exported successfully now I am showing another technique that you can also import the data because change directory sometimes can suffer you so you can do another method that is known as location method for this you have to click on the data go to the properties and copy the location of the file copy then we are going to back to the R now I am writing the same command instead here I am adding file equals to okay now when I have the cursor before my the name of my data I am just pasting the information I have got from the location and I have to add a backslash and also change all the front slash with backslash okay so for better understi uh, understanding I am storing the data in DT so I am pressing enter so you have said there is no warning from R so it is stored in DT then so you can click DT then the data are same from the D so these two are very familiar method to obtain data in R from XCSB format and also we have another format that is the text file here the text file now I'll convert I'll import this file to R okay so for this the command is I have to only do one change that here instead of CSV I have to write table T A B L E I am putting here T for the text file and don't forget that the data extension is 
txt okay go to here and if you cl click on the properties you can see its name the data and extension is dot txt okay its label is data and extension is dot txt so i have to remove data csv so i have the common the data dot txt so i can run it so it is successfully run then when i press t okay there is a problem that it's showing me that the variable weight height and age is also an element but we have to put this as the name of the row first row so for this we have to do some addition that is we have to write here additional put comma then write header is e a d e r header equal to t true that is the header that means this line the first column is true it's not a variable okay running the command oh, it is successfully executed then when i press t and see the difference here the first value is 80 for weight in kg height in feet age is 30 but here the first row was calculating it as a value so that was all for today i hope you have understand my videos properly and if you have any problem you can comment it thank you for watching again